A stunning change of tune from the city of Florence tonight. A city councilman is now calling for transparency, including a forensic audit and a new path forward, while appointing yet another interim city manager. Chief investigative reporter Chelsea Brinsel has been on this story for more than three months, digging into city records and conducting dozens of interviews. She's live in Florence tonight with this major update. Chelsea. Yeah. Just six months removed from firing city manager Mike Patterson for trying to coerce sex from female staffers, Foreign City Councilman Brian Allen made a statement. This evil was very dominant trait within our city for many years. That is, until the women that were being victimized by these shameful acts stood up and said no more. Patterson is awaiting trial in Fremont County, charged with stalking, sexual contact, no consent, and providing alcohol to a minor. All charges are related to his behavior with women he supervised. It took some very strong women to finally reign end his reign tear. I commend their strength in coming forward and bringing that darkness into light. It was overdue, and to those women, I can only deeply and sincerely apologize. The council also voted in a new interim city manager. The current interim, Sean Garrett, decided to step down in the middle of a search for a permanent city manager. They appointed Tom Piltzengrud, who was Florence's city manager before Mike Patterson. I will never lie to you. I will always tell you the truth. I will never lie to the citizens of Florence. And nor will I lie to the employees of the city of Florence. He will serve for the next two weeks while the city works to fill the spot permanently, promising to bring accountability back to the city of Florence. I will shine a xenon searchlight onto the administration of this city. I have a number of transparent actions that I am going to enact, most of which require coordination with department heads. A new interim city manager has also promised a detailed review of his actions during his two-week stint. He says that report will be open to the public and posted on the city's website.